Welcome to this video. So, in this video, we are going to be validating statistical assumptions. One of the things that I think all of us know is the fact that before we can simply just go and apply any uh, machine learning algorithm like your regression or your random forest, we first have to clean our data. And one of the things or the drawbacks in so many machine learning algorithms like your regression or logistic regression is the fact that the variables, the independent variables are sometimes correlated. So we have a problem of multicollinearity. So SAS provides us with some statements that you can use in order to deal with multicollinearity or detect it in our data set. So in this video, we are going to detect multicollinearity. To do that, we have first defined this data set. So this is the data set, such a small data set containing the need for hospital labor in 17 hospitals. So we have five predictor variables, which is the average daily patient load, monthly x-ray exposure, or monthly occupied bed days in the hospitals, and the eligible number of patients in the area, or we can say in this particular area, or in this case, we are talking about the state. And lastly, it is the average length of patient stay in the hospital. So the dependent variable in this case is monthly labor hours. So let's run our data to see how it looks like in SAS. So this is how our data set looks like. So we can observe that we don't have a problem of duplicate or missing values. So let's just see how can we detect multicollinearity. One way we can detect multicollinearity is by making use of variant inflation factor or VIF. So first we will use VIF to detect multicollinearity. So VIS can be used to measure multicollinearity. So we will look at its value if it's a value of 10 or more, then we have a problem of multicollinearity in the data. So the first thing that we do in SAS is we turn on our graphics so that we can be able to visualize. And the procedure that we use in order to find the VIF is proc Reg. So we have an option to state our data, which is hospital. Now, the model statement, that is where we will list the dependent variable and independent variables. So our model looks like this, is that we have labor hours as our dependent variable and we have these additional independent variables so i'm just going to quickly type all of all of them Okay, so now we can observe that SAS provides us with options as to what do we additionally want to see in the output. 
In our case, we want the VIF. Okay, so first, this video will only show how can we interpret the VIF in SAS. And let's click Run. So, let us interpret our results. So, the table that we want is, is a table of parameter estimate. That is where we can observe the value of VIF. So, what can you see from the output? So, from the output, we can observe that we have these three variables having a VIF of more than 10. So, from VIF, we can say there is evidence of multicoloniality. Another way we can observe multicoloniality is if we make use of coloniality diagnostics. So, coloniality diagnostics will help us to have a table that will show condition index. So, from the condition index, we can also provide more evidence of multicoloniality. So, this is and condition index. So, we have an option of adding the table that will show us a condition index by adding Colin and let's run it. So the table that we want is collinearity diagnostics table. So how can we detect multicoloniality using condition index? When it comes to detecting multicoloniality using condition index, we look for the condition number that is between 10 and 30. So the condition number that is between 10 and 30 indicates the presence of multicoloniality. But when it is greater than 30, that is where we can regard, we can regard the multicoloniality in our data to be strong. So the data set that we are working with has these two values when it comes to condition index which provides further evidence of multicoloniality in this data set. So this is how we can use a condition index, which is from coloniality diagnostics table.